In this tutorial, let's look at some interview questions for Pod Design Workbench. First, is it possible to create Pocket or Groove as the first feature? As we have worked in the Pod Design Workbench, then we create the profile. For example, let's create rectangle. And if you try to create a pocket, or a groove, it's frozen. So we have an option to add a body. Once if we add the body, and once we create a sketch inside that body, let's delete this first, and we'll create a sketch inside that body. we will be able to create a pocket without creating a pad. This feature is used and it can be used while we assemble or once we use the boolean functions. Next, can you pad open intersecting, open and intersecting profiles? Second question, can you pad option on an open or an intersecting profile? Let's find out the answer. So for that, let's open up a new file. And let's try an open profile. I've created an open profile and I will go for a pad. In the pad, when we create the pad, we have an option called as tick profile. So click on yes. Then go for the tick and specify the thickness here. So the answer is yes, we can pad an open profile. But the second part of the question is, can you pad an open and an inter intersecting profile? So this profile is not intersecting. So if we create an open profile, which is intersecting, then it's not possible even if we use a thick profile it's not possible to compute the geometry now let's pass on to the next question can you use portion of a sketch to create a pad so this is an interesting question let's see i will create Two, two rectangles here and I want to pad only one so usually when we go for the pad option and when I select both of these sketches are used for the pad so we have an option here to go to profile definition and go for sub elements and remove this and click on only one of that sketch and click on OK in this way you can pad only the portion of a sketch. Now, what is reframe on and what is central graph? So, this is really a useful tool or a useful option. So, in this case, for example, when we are working on a very big project and when we have a lot of, lot of uh, features here and we cannot really locate it. For example, I know that this is what I want to work with. So, I'll just click on this and I'll reframe on so wherever that part is wherever that feature is the screen zooms on that particular feature now when I just for example I'm somewhere here and I don't really have the uh, specification or the feature name or the feature being uh, visible over here so I want to know I want to know where is the feature of this so i'll just click on this and go for center graph so when i do that the specification tree comes to the and comes and locates itself to the center of the screen now finally what is explode option in the rectangular pattern now let's go to a part where i have created a rectangular pattern for you and as i've explained to you before about rectangular pattern once we create it, we have an option in this way. 
and if we want to delete any of these any of these holes individually you have an option to right click and go for the pattern and click on the explode option and on the on the explode option you have individual sketch and individual feature for all of them you could select any of them and you can go for delete click on ok and that particular hole is being deleted so that's about the uh, interview questions of part design workbench i hope you enjoyed